Hey guys, what up? I'm gonna print an iPhone 4 case right there. Um, I've uploaded it and um, sliced it to G code, so let's run the print. The extruder is 92 degrees Celsius, which is pretty bad. 98, 100, so it's warming up, and then it will start printing the case. In the future I will do more self-made parts like that, not self-made, I mean um, it's like a self-replicating device so it makes parts to improve itself, just like this cable holder for the fil filament, which I didn't put in there yet, but then let's go and see how the case will look. So there it goes, um, you can see it's showing me the area it will need to print it in, so I will know if there is something wrong in there or something. I could just stop the print and remove the tape or so. You can see there is a hole in the tape, but it doesn't matter a lot to me right now. There it is, the first layer is printing right now. And it starts looking like a real iPhone case. And here we are at one of the last layers to be exact. It is like three more layers and then we are done. So it's finished, so let's turn everything like it should be. And now it should be right, pull it off. So, yeah. It's easy to pull it off, not too easy of course, but it could be easier, you know. And this is the finished case. Um, well, the result is pretty nice and I'm really happy with it. But as you can see, the lines here are not um really smooth i think they are stuck on the no there there is nothing on the print plate anymore and this is just cleanable and uh, it's a really nice case guys and this cost me like 20 or 30 cents to print and this is how the full result look like a real and legit iphone case um yeah i think this is pretty cool